Hey everyone, my name is Tegan, and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today I want to talk about writing a little bit more, making a lot of progress in a book in a short amount of time, this fear of wanting to give up at the final hurdle, and also turning my draft into physical copies so I can just have the experience of being an author way before the book's actually out. So let's talk about writing progress for a bit. I think the last update I would have gave was talking about April and the first four months of the year. And we're currently in July, this will be uploaded in August, but I think I made such a significant amount of progress, I need to give this update a little bit early before I go into my next editing. So I decided every four months I will allow myself to edit so I can like hold off on that throughout the rest of the year and focus on getting new words on the page rather than obsessing with what I've already written. So the last time we spoke, I was at 20,511 words. I'm now at 45,557. And as a reminder, or just to let you know, for anyone who's not seen these videos before, my dog's got a lot to say. My original aim was to write 50,000 words in a year, because I am a notoriously slow writer who takes years and years to finish a first draft. So 50,000 words in a year from January 1st to December 31st worked out to be around 167 words per day. And I thought, that's, that's a paragraph, so that seems attainable. Based off my lovely spreadsheet, my average words is 242 per day, which makes my daily goal to complete in time for December 31st, 25 words per day. But if I continue at my pace of 242 words, I will be finished in 18 days. So 50,000 words before the end of July. And for some reason I'm terrified of this. Because I think, again, it's a case of I'm such a notorious slow writer, it's like, wow, I finished this book so quickly. Does that mean it's terrible? And like, yes, it's a first draft. It's meant to be terrible. I'm trying to get in the mindset of any word is a good word. As long as it's on the page, it's a lot easier to edit a terrible first draft and a non-existent first draft, things like that, you know? So I think, yeah, the words have to go on the page. They don't have to be good. They just have to be done. And I think this kind of rushed writing and just trying to get any word on the page reminds me so much of when I was writing on novellas. I have some, like, here's my trophies from it. It's kind of like a fan fiction writing site, you know, it's the AO3, the Wattpad, the Quotev, you, you know the thing I'm talking about. And I used to, like, smash out a first chapter, a first draft of a chapter, just hit upload and just start writing the next one. And I watched my comments come in, I'd use the comments of my readers to, like, guide the next one. And this, although I don't have readers right now, I think I would love some readers though. Just like tell me like is this is it going well but yeah i don't have readers currently but it's still the the frenzy fever dream writing feeling of just writing something and moving on and i think i'm i'm summoning that energy and therefore i feel like i'm doing great right now which is which is actually great so yeah may was 10,227 june was 13,407 and it's only july 7th right now so i've done 1,412 words and I hit 45,000 words, which is like 90% of my total goal. And I've just had the 6th and the 7th of July. Or no, the 5th and the 6th. I've had zero word days because I was at work. And work is, work is destroying me. So yeah, I have 4,443 words remaining. I have this probably, this in the, like, the 5 to 10 chapters left that I know I want to write to finish what I planned for this book. So there's still another probably more like 10 to 15,000 words left. It's going to be around like a 60,000 word book, which is still very short for a book, but I think it's the kind of, I think it works for the story I'm trying to tell. Should we talk a little bit more about the book, I think? I think we should. Sure, there's not a huge amount of writing updates other than I wrote a lot of words. I'm terrified to finish, because what do I do with myself when it's done other than start another book? And like, do I remember how to start writing a book? No, but we'll work it out. Let's talk about the proof copies now, because that's going to be fun. Here's two of them. The first proof copy I printed is this lovely orange one. The book's called There Will Be Other Summers, even though I refer to it as Best Friend Whip all the time. We've got a description on the back. I oh, always starting to rain. If you hear the rain, no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. <laughs> I chose a bad day to film. So for my first proof copy, the book is split into kind of like four months. We've got May, June, July, August, and like two weeks of September, which we don't really count. So the middle point for me was like, if I finish May and June, and I also somehow managed to fit like 50% of my word count as a treat, I can have this book. And then things aligned. I finished May and June, and that was also 25,000 words. So I have been like formatting this book as I go, because I know I'm going to do the interior design myself, and I also love doing that. And I'd love to make more videos actually about that process in the future when this is like done for good. 
and I would love to teach indie and self-published authors how to make things as cheap or as free as possible because self-publishing is very expensive on occasion which is another thing I'd like to talk about. So I have this book, it's, it was meant to be a bit more orange because orange is kind of a colour scheme on the cover but that's not a thing, it didn't show up very orange. We have we have a page at the front where I'd like to have quotes about this book. We have a second page where it's like quotes, mostly about Paper Forest, but you know, praise for me as an author. Title page. I love that the list of like books I've written is growing. We've got a dedication which I've censored for fun. We have a copyright page. Note from the author with the content warnings because they will be available online, but I feel like it's also very important that if this... I was going to say that the piece of manages to like pick this up in public. I don't know anywhere that would stock indie books. If someone happens to find this, that'll be there. Another quote, and then the May section starts. And it's kind of fake, so it's on cream paper, but it wants to be like lined paper, so this book kind of looks like one of the main character's journals. And it's lined paper at the top and kind of like a ripped page here, which kind of just blends in. And a drop capital, because I don't know if drop capitals are like a really a thing outside the fantasy, but it should be. I think they're fun. Do do do, and then it's just book, book. This one is literally just putting the words in place because I also wanted to visualise how long this is, especially because I'm using cream paper and my first book paper for us is on white paper, which has to be a bit thicker. So even if these end up being a similar word count, this one's going to end up being a bit thinner, I believe. And also here I put in like black squares because I knew I wanted to do some, some fun formatting. This is an extract from a handwritten letter, so I knew when I made another draft I'd like to put a handwritten letter in here. So I left placeholders for now and I went to fill in later. But this one's not hugely exciting, but I got it and I was... It made me feel like this book was real for the first time. Because I said I've been working it for seven years. I found a tweet the other day from when I updated the chapter on the Vellas from 2015. So I've actually been working on this for nine years. So seeing it as like an actual book that progress is happening on made me feel all like mushy and warm inside. So but yeah, this makes me happy. And then when I hit 75%, so when I finished the July section as well, I thought I'll get my 75% draft. And this one is kind of a greeny bluey colour. And here's a glimpse of the cover. We have Asher, we have Rin. There's, oops, I'm going to do like a full reveal because I also like drew Illustrator design the cover. So again, I can make videos talking about indie covers for people. But here, here it is, here it is. This has been like the design since I started doing it. I designed this book cover before I actually committed to writing the book again. And for this one I made a few more changes. You can start seeing those lines here. So the main changes that I, I changed the first few pages to be basically the cover art about the characters on. Because I also knew that similar to Paper Forest, which you don't have to hand right now to show off, there's going to be art inside the front cover which is going to be basically the cover art, but like a nighttime, like a bluey, purpley nighttime version. So I wanted that to just to stretch across here and be like full cover art. So the first few pages have been changed to that instead. And then when it gets to the quote, it go, which is not censored this time, it goes back into the notebook paper. More things I will add eventually is, that, you know, it's called, it's called the Dinkus. The little design that goes between scene changes. I'm going to add one of those. I added some of the handwritten notes in here. Here's one. Post-it note for when um, Asher goes to Rin's house, the little post-it note in the door that basically just says, let yourself in. That's what that is. And then here is the handwritten letter that I was talking about in the other draft. And I won't glimpse it too much, but I did. I hand wrote it. I photographed it, put it in Photoshop, edited it a bit so it was you know, high contrast would show up on page and also look like it had been smudged when it got wet. Things like that, because Photoshop is my passion. And then in between months, the characters are in like a therapy group project where they have to write letters to each other, a monthly letter. So in between the months, there's going to be these pages, which is again like the front cover art, but with notebook paper on top. And that's where I will eventually hand write some letters, but the actual letter I wrote so far is in the Taylor Swift Reputation handwriting font. But they're the major changes between these two drafts. And then I look at it more and I think this is she's starting to get big. They grow up so fast. Getting copies like this is what motivates me to keep writing even though it feels like I want to give up at 91% completion. 
And I think that's all I have to talk about for this monthly update. I'll come back when I finish my 50k words and when I start editing and when the book's actually done to release and talk about and make more videos about the self-publishing process. But for now, for now, basically this. I've made a lot of progress, I feel good, I feel motivated to keep writing, and I also feel like I'm gonna, I could have a future in writing. Maybe it won't take me nine years to write my next book. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!